Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Christian here. Tonight, I'm going to be making spaghetti carbonara. Before we get started, we're gonna take a sip of that white wine. Mmm. In tonight's recipe, you're gonna need some leftover ham, two eggs, some butter, fresh garlic, some fresh grated Parmesan cheese, fresh parsley, salt and pepper, some half and half, I'm using percatelli instead of linguine tonight. And of course, you'll need a pot of boiling water with olive oil. Let's get started, shall we? Once the pot of water is up to a nice rolling boil, you have some olive oil and some salt in it. You're gonna put the percatelli right in. I'm gonna cook for about eight minutes. Keep an eye on it. The great thing about this pasta is that it's hollow on the inside. So once it's fully cooked, You'll be able to see it like a straw, and it'll suck up all the sauces nice and evenly. While that's boiling, we're gonna prep everything else. You'll probably want about a half a pound of ham for this recipe. Doesn't have to be perfect cuts because we're going to cube them anyway. Should be good. Next, I want to chop up some garlic. You could do like two to three cloves of garlic if you'd like, based on personal preference. It's a simple dish. I think this is a great time to take a sip of that wine. Mmm. Once the pasta is drained, you want to get that pot that you used earlier, empty it out, dry it out, add some olive oil, because we're going to start sauteing soon. Generous amount. Let it warm up. We're going to take the ham and throw it right in. Generous amount of butter. Looks like a lot, but like most spinach, when it cooks, it'll shrink. Next, we're going to take the garlic. Go right in. There we go. A little more olive oil. And we'll let that cook for a little bit. About three to four minutes. So everything's completely cooked. I think this is a great time to take another sip of that wine. Mmm. Next, we're gonna make the cream sauce. First, it's the egg. Turn 
turn that timer off. Pepper. And salt. A little more half and half, or cream. <clears throat> What's really important is that you don't dump this in when the pan is super hot. All right, so we're gonna combine everything and then we're gonna let it warm up for another two to three minutes and then it'll be ready to be served. While that warms up, you also wanna add your grated fresh Parmesan. See how that looks. Give it a stir. It should start thickening real soon. You're then going to take your pasta, dump it in, then gently stir, stir it up. Just coating it nicely. This is pretty much ready. I'm gonna let it warm up a little more. Folks, I hope you enjoyed my recipe tonight. Be sure to like and subscribe somewhere down here. And of course, don't forget to take a sip of that wine. Mmm.